Well, hey guys, uh, welcome back. I am finally back with a DVD update, and this is my uh, July 16th DVD update. It's been about almost three months, three long months, since I've done one of these videos, and I thought I would finally upload one because it's been uh, been such a long time. So, first one, well, this was actually the last one I just got, but I thought I would show you this one first because this was one that I was really excited about coming out, and it finally came out. I didn't even know about it, and it um, it's with um, Rutger Hauer, I believe that's how you say his name, and this is Hobo with a Shotgun, and this was I saw the the fake trailer a while back, and I thought well, that would make a good movie, and then I I saw the actual trailer for this, and I was like, oh my god, I got to see this movie. And it finally came out, and I was with Cam, actually, uh, and we were in Best Buy, and I was like, I wonder if Hobo with a Shotgun came out, and it was there. And uh, this was the one with the two-disc collector's edition, and this also comes with a digital copy. So this comes with the actual movie, and it comes with a bunch of bonus features. And then when you open it up, I love the uh, slip case that comes with it. And um, when you open it up, you get this little thing in here where you can go to iTunes, and uh, you put in the little password, almost like a gift card, and um, you can put it on your. Um, you can actually put it on your iPod to watch it when you're like, whatever you're doing. And um, this pretty much follows a uh, homeless man. We don't know what his name is. This follows a homeless man, and he gets off of a train, and he's in a new town. He's ready for a new start, but this is like a shithole of like a town. It's called, I think like Scum Town or like Scum City, something like that. And he just like it's just crime and like just prostitution and drugs are like everywhere and actually in the back if you see uh, that's Ricky from uh, Trailer Park Boys and like what they do is like if you like break the law or something you get they put a manhole cover on your head then they tear your head off with some barbed wire and just really great movie really gory really bloody I won't give too much away just because this just came out but definitely get definitely pick this up this was great and I hope to get a movie poster of Hobo with a shotgun sometime. Um, um, next one I have was just one I picked up, like just because it looked really cool, but it was okay. And it's called a uh, Food Ink, and it's all about like um, how you like your food gets processed and like how we should look at the food being proce processed and stuff like that. Like kind of like McDonald's Burger King kind of thing, like how like cattle is like treated and like it's kind of like a slaughterhouse, kind of like like a WWF, the kind of not World Wrestling Federation, but the uh, uh, World Wildlife Foundation, kind of like a movie like that. I don't, it was okay. If you guys are interested in that, seeing how your food gets on your plate, go for it. But it was okay. I'm sorry if this camera is a little uh, different. This is the new camera, and this is the first time I'm doing an update with this. So, in case if it zooms out or if it's not like I'm not focused on it, I'm sorry about that. Now, the next one I got was one that I picked off of uh, eBay uh, and uh, got one of those eBay gift cards. And uh, this is the limited edition James and the Giant Peach. Now, I'm not really sure what's limited edition about this. I'm thinking it's because of the, the sleeve. The sleeve is like gold and it's uh, got like, some um, upraise to it. But really, this was just the same movie as the original one with like two extra bonus features to the original one like really if you took the sleeve off you have the movie this is how it comes when you go somewhere and you're like there's James and the Giant Peach but this follows a boy named James and his parents are killed by a rhinoceros in the sky and then he has to live with like his like totally just like bitchy uh, ants and they're just like horrible and this I, I think this is uh, I don't think Tim Burton directed this, but this is from the makers of Tim Burton. It has the same animation to it and stuff. And then he meets, like, this creepy old man. He gives him, like, I think they're called alligator tongues or something, like these little green spirals. And then that gets into, like, a peach, and then, like, all hell breaks loose. And then he goes on a magical adventure with some giant uh, insects. But <laughs> this was always a movie I remember watching on Disney Channel, when Disney Channel used to play movies. And this was one I always used to like. And it was sometimes creepy, but... This has, um, I forget who's in it, um, uh, Sigourney Weaver, I think, does the voice of Miss Spider. I may be wrong, but that's all I really know, but definitely get this up, and if you see the special edition, I guess get it, just because of the nice DVD sleeve that it has. 
Now, the next one I got, this is a kind of like an old movie. It's from 2007, I believe. And it has Adam Sandler and Don Chedley. Or Chedley, I forget how to say his last name. And this is uh, Rain Over Me. And this, right now, is one of my top favorite movies. Besides, um, since I watched Hobo with a Shotgun, I really like that. But, like, Big Lebowski, Hobo with a Shotgun, and Rain Over Me. This is one of my favorite movies. And this follows Adam Sandler, who plays Charlie Feynman. And his, his like, whole family dies in 9-11, the 9-11 tragedy. And, like, he just, like, shuts himself off from the world and just hides in his, like, house and, you know, listens to music, headphones, and plays video games. And then John Chedley comes along and he, like, starts talking to him, befriends him. And then he tries, like, in therapy and, like, then he just goes nuts and he tries to kill himself. Really good movie. If, if, go see the trailer for this. I'll post the trailer um, under the description for this and Hobo with a Shotgun because the trailer for this really tells you all about it. So, if you can find this, this is somewhat hard. I, I had a hard time finding this, so if you can find it, definitely pick that up. I really liked it. Now, the next one I have is another um, documentary film, but it's by one of my favorite uh, documentarists, if that's what the word is. It's by Michael Moore, Fahrenheit 9-11. This is the whole documentary of, like, the 9-11 tragedy to go along with Rain Over Me, and it's just... And not too much I really say about this movie that I, I liked it. I like Michael Moore. I really like uh, Bowling for Columbine, the Columbine shooting. Uh, I think I especially like that because it happened, you know, like not, not too far from here. And just Michael Moore is just a really good director. And uh, he just like, you know, he like digs deep, tries to find stuff. And, um, but just, uh, this is a really old one. This is from 2004. So I just picked this up because it was at Walmart and it was like five bucks. So if you like Michael Moore movies, definitely check out 9-11, because 9-11 is kind of like old news, but definitely pick that up. Now the uh, next one I have was, uh, again, another old one, but one I really, really enjoyed to go along with James and the Giant Peach, was one I really enjoyed to go, that I liked to watch as a kid uh, when I was like 9, 10 years old, and uh, this is the, uh, the Dark Crystal with Jim Henson, and this is like... If you've never seen, like, uh, Jim Henson movies, like, really good, like, Muppets and, like, puppet, uh, puppetry and stuff. And The Dark Crystal is all about, like, it was, like, Crystal is, like, on the Earth or something. I'm not really sure of the, of the storyboard. And it's, like, um, the, uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> the, uh, Crystal is, like, it, like, gives all life, kind of. And it's, like, the Schneeblix or something. I forget how to say it, the names. And the... The uh, dividing the world into two fractions, the wicked skeezes and the peaceful mystiques, and uh, some parts of this are really messed up. Like they're really like terrifying because they're like the uh, the skeezics are like kind of like uh, turkey buzzards. If you know what a turkey buzzard is, and like right here, that's a skeezic. You can see that, and then that's a mystique. So. Um, I don't know, it's really hard to explain this movie, but if you like Jim Henson movies and you like puppetry, definitely go check this out. Uh, now, the next one I got is another new one, fairly new, um, and it's with a uh, new director called uh, Quentin uh, du Dupiex. I think that I have, I can't read names for my life, so sorry about that, but it's called a uh, Rubber, and um, this follows a uh, inanimate, inanimate. Uh, tire named Rob or uh, Robert and um, he has the telekinetic I think that's what it is uh, te telekinetic ability to blow stuff up with his mind and uh, that's right and it's just a really weird movie but a really good movie and definitely check the trailer out for this too I'll probably post every trailer for the movies I have it's easier to watch a trailer than explain some of these movies and uh, just like the tire comes to life and like he starts killing people and the whole point of the movie is there's actually because this is fairly new so if you haven't seen this yet but it's like the people have binoculars and they're watching somewhere far away and they're watching a movie take place and um, they have a person that gives them binoculars so they can watch the movie so you're watching people watch a movie it's Really weird concept, but I really liked it. So if you check this, and when, when you buy it, uh, they have a 
plastic uh, little cover uh, thing that goes on it. So when you put the uh, move the DVD back and forth, it like the tire blows up the crow. I don't. I think I threw it away though. Now, the next one I got was just a uh, kind of like an old thing, and this was a uh, someone's trying to call me. And the next uh, the, the one I have here is uh, just a just a movie I picked up because I had I never bought it, and it was a, American Werewolf in London. And everyone has seen this movie, so I won't, I won't go into like detail explaining what it is. It's just two tourists go to London and they get attacked by what they think is a dog, and he kills the um, the one friend. I think his name is, um, uh, I forget what his name is, like, John, no, it's not, I, Billy or John, something like that. And he gets attacked by a dog, which is later discovered as a werewolf, and then the other friend turns into the werewolf, and just, if, you, if you've never seen this, definitely pick this up, and get the full moon edition, because this comes with every bonus feature you could imagine. Now, the uh, last thing I have here is uh, you can thank Cam for this because he gave me a gift card which I which I bought all this with, and uh, it was all a big big combo pack that came with it. And uh, the first one I have, I never haven't even watched it yet. So maybe when we hit 500 subscribers, I will auction this DVD off and something else. And this was um, Pee Wee's Playhouse, the Christmas special, which I didn't even watch it, but it has. Pretty much every single star of the 80s in here it has Whoopi Goldberg, has, uh, I think, is that, uh, I don't even know half, Oprah, Oprah's on here, so that has to be good. But like I said, Whoopi Goldberg again, and, uh, like I said, if you guys, if, if we hit 500 subscribers, I'll, I'll auction this off, but I'll probably never watch this. But what, I had to, uh, you, you have to buy that because it comes... With uh, with this, and this was the entire season of uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse, and pretty much um, why I bought this was because um, they used to play Pee Wee's Playhouse on uh, Adult Swim, and um, so then I used to watch it all the time when it was on Adult Swim. But then it went off, and I always used to watch it like on the on online and stuff. And they finally came this with this out at Best Buy, and I had to have it. And then that's when Cam. Again, thank you to Cam for giving me the gift card to buy this. And this has every single 45 episode in three, four, five, five disc to a um, pack. So you have 10 disc, 45 episodes on it. And I'll just go quickly through here. They have all the characters on here. On the uh, disc five, they have Conky. They have uh, the dog chair in the window. They have um, Petrie. Or Terry the Terry, I forget what his name is. The pterodactyl. And uh, the uh, magic screen. And then you have uh, Randy. And uh, Pee Wee actually has the new thing on Broadway where he does a show on Broadway, and I really want to go see that, but I don't think. Uh, or California, I think he does it in, I'm not sure. If I can get the disc back in, I'll show you what the other thing is. So I'll put that here. And then with the second, this is the second uh, volume, and this has, uh, I forget what his name is, I think it's like Baloney or something, and this is Penny, the little cartoon they show, uh, the Ant Farm, which always spells stuff, they have the, um, oh shit, what's that, they have Globy down there, and I forget what that is, I forget, it's like a, the television uh, thing, and then you have the Puppet House Band. And I think on that one, I, uh, the uh, Conky's breakdown was my one of my favorites on that one, where Conky doesn't work. So I hope you liked this update, guys. It was a fairly big update, and like I said, definitely the one that you must check out in this update is Hobo with a Shotgun. And I, if anyone could tell me where to get a poster of Hobo with a Shotgun, I would really appreciate it. And uh, I want to thank you guys for 420 subscribers. It's almost at 500. So uh, I guess if you guys like the channel here, if you're just checking me out, uh, spread this to your friends. And um, like I said, I hope you guys like this. And we'll have a new video up soon, and we'll have a new vlog up soon. So um, you can also remember to follow me on Twitter. Um, see if I can pull this up real quick. I'll show you what our profile looks like. Here's the profile on uh, Twitter. Uh, Cam and Brett at Twitter, so go follow us there, and uh, I will see you guys uh, next time with another update, so uh, see you.